Yes. Sir, um, what if the janitors would like to see you? I'm busy. Fresh cakes? <laughs> what is it, Danny? Uh, Donnie, sir. Well, Donnie, I'm extremely busy with the Comic-Con presentation, so... I'm told that you have an open-door policy here at Hasbro for, for new toy ideas from any and all employees. Yeah, I suppose that's true. All right, come in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I love your dress. Mr. Jessup, I can make this company a billion dollars. I'm listening. Thirty years ago, a little boy named John Bennett made a wish that his teddy bear would come to life. Somehow, one of our Hasbro bears... Yes, I'm aware of the story. Have you seen this? So what? Well, Ted is suing for his civil rights. If he loses, the state will officially declare him a non-entity with no rights under the law. That means he becomes property. Mr. Jessup, we could take him back with only a trivial degree of legal consequence if we were even caught. And why would we do this? Sir, if, if, we, could, if we could cut him open to see what makes him tick, we could manufacture millions of Teds for every child in the world. Hasbro would double its profits overnight. Go on. We, could, we just have to make sure Ted loses the case. You use every back channel, every bribe, you call in every favor, and, and you get the best lawyer in the world on the defense. When, when Ted's rights are officially known, we grab him. No one's gonna kick up a legal fuss over property. You're a hell of a lot smarter than your urinal cakes, Danny. Really? Now, what exactly do you want from this? Mr. Jessup, I'm not interested in money. I just want a Ted for my very own. All right. I think I can handle the defense. But let's make one thing clear. We never had this conversation. Goldner and the board cannot know about this until we have him. Do you understand? Yes, I can. I need Chef Wilde.